Hey folks, I'm Chuck Black. We're doing Quokka Prime from scratch. We're continuing to implement device monitoring. In today's lesson, we will implement the REST API side of devices, and we will be implementing Git and Put in the device monitoring app. So let's get started. Okay, so we've implemented reading the YAML file in our device monitor code, and that is working. What we need to do is implement this stuff that we stubbed out specifically, get devices and update device. So we want to be able to get the information and write it into the Quokka service and read it from the Quokka service. So I've implemented that in the device monitor before, but we're not going to use that. What we're going to use is the stuff that we've already implemented in the host monitoring app. So as you can see in the host monitor, we have git host and we have update host. And so what we'll do is we'll do git device and we will do update device in a similar manner to what has been done here. In addition to this, we also need to modify the Quokka server. Here we're handling the host endpoint. We need to handle the devices endpoint as well. So that's what we'll be doing in this lesson. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll modify the Quokka Prime server in order to add the appropriate devices routes. Now the first thing I'm going to do here in host is get rid of the post because we don't need that. We're not using it. So we can uh, just get rid of that. Now the next thing I see that I have global hosts. I will need global devices. This is where I'm going to be storing things in this implementation. And now what I can do is I can copy this existing host code and then I can paste it down here and modify it according to my need to implement devices. So this is the pattern that I'm going to use is what I've done before. I'm going to change the occurrences of host to devices. I could use like a control R to replace things if I wanted to, but I'm going to do them by hand. I'm getting rid of post as an allowable method you can see that so let me go through and change these devices to or these hosts to be devices now i'm going to be returning that as you can see here one of the things to note is that when we with host we use host name with devices we just use name and i do that with services as well so i just got to make sure that i do this correctly so i'm getting rid of uh, the hosts and I'm gonna kind of trying to remember what I'm gonna call this and I realize I'm just calling it name so I'm doing this where I'm getting rid of name and now the data that I get back from JSON is going to be device data and so I need to make sure that I change that and I set global devices based on the data that I've received in that put request so looking over this it seems like I've gotten everything done it was pretty straightforward. I should be able to handle devices request and now we can move on. Okay, the next thing I'll need to do is to replace these stubbed out functions, get devices and update devices with actual code. I'm going to pattern get devices off of my get hosts from the host monitor. So I'm going to copy that code and I'm going to just paste it right into get devices. Now the first thing that you'll notice here is that requests is giving me a red squiggly. That's because I haven't imported it. PyCharm will do that for me if I ask them to, and I have done that. I'm just going to clean it up up here at the top. I didn't have to type that in. And so now I need to go through and do the same thing I did before. I'm changing my endpoint to be devices here. I'm going to change my error messages and my print statements to reference devices rather than hosts. So I've done that in two error messages, and now in the successful, I can go ahead and change that to devices as well if I can figure out how to spell it properly. And everything else, as I look over this, I don't really have to do anything else. The meaningful thing that I did here was I changed the endpoint, and pretty much everything else is print statements. So now let's implement update device by doing essentially the same thing. We're going to go back to host monitor. We are going to highlight the code for update host and we're going to copy it. Go back to our device monitor and replace that print statement with the code for updating the host that we've just copied. Now we'll need to do a few things. Uh, including changing host name to just name because remember that's what our devices 
are using. We're going to change references to host to be references to device. And the JSON that we get is going to be a device, not a host. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I, it annoys me when uh, things are separated on separate lines and they don't have to be. So I'm going to make sure everything is on the same line since it fits. So I'm going to do some of the cleaning work to get rid of hosts. But uh, one thing I'm going to do is a control R and say change every reference to host to be device. And then I need to use these up and down arrows, etc., to appropriately skip the ones I don't want to change, like local host, don't want to change that. But I do want to change host name in that situation. I just want it to be name in other situations where I want host to be device, I can click on replace and that will work faster than me typing it and it also ensures that it's correct and not screwed up. So uh, this is my update device code. It's looking like it's supposed to look. So the next thing we can do is test it. Okay, so we've implemented get devices and update device. We've also modified the Quokka server to handle endpoint requests for devices. The next step is to figure out how we can modify the functionality so that we can actually test this. Now, read devices YAML actually does a number of things. It does get devices and it does update device. So it does both of those things. Therefore, we should be able to just modify our mainline program. So we're going to do a pretty print. I'm uh, importing pretty print. And what I'm going to do is after I've done read devices YAML, then I'm just going to do a pretty print. And what I'm going to print is this call to get devices. So I'm going to actually get devices from the RESTful API when I print things out. Now before I print it out, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, nice stuff beforehand, a couple of carriage return line feeds, print out something that says, hey, this is what it is, so that it's easy for me to identify when we actually run the code. So now I need to start the web service. I do flask run as I did before. It's up and running and it's waiting for, you can see we've done a host request already. That was from my host display running in the background. Here's my Python program that I'm running where I say Python 3 device monitor.py. When I do actually run it, you're going to see it go by very quickly. There it is on the right. You can see I've done uh, get requests. I've done put requests for putting my devices into my web service. So that all is good, my three different devices. And I've done some gets. So let's look at the output. If we go to the top, you can see that this is where I ran the program. This is where I read in the YAML and I updated it via the RESTful API. And then I did this git when the pretty print and these are my devices that I have printed out. I have my iOS XE sandbox device there. I have my iOS XR sandbox below that. And the last one there is my NXOS sandbox device. So. It looks like it worked and it seems like we have been successful. Okay, let's review what we talked about first. In Quokka Prime Server, we added devices endpoint for handling those REST requests within the device monitor. We created the code to get devices and to update devices. We also added to the code in the main line to print out the output of get devices so we could see that the gets and the updates worked. And sure enough, here is the output for the Quokka server. And you can see that we have gets and we have puts. And here's the output from the device monitor program itself showing that it is successful. So we're moving along in our implementation of device monitoring. Hopefully this all made sense. And if not, uh, or even if it did, please feel free to give me your comments or questions. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching this episode on Quokka Prime from scratch. I'm Chuck Black. If you do have questions or comments, feel free to leave a message with this video. I'm also on Twitter at Chuck A. Black. If you want to send email with a question, comment, or just to say hi, the email address you can reach me at is python.52.weeks 
at gmail.com. Also remember to subscribe to this channel. I hope these lessons are helping you to achieve your goals towards becoming a real software developer. So, so long for now and see you at the next episode.